to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency that we did to the enemy. You know, folks, in less than two years, because of it being global, they put two million people in that country. And I got lucky enough to have about 80,000, which was nothing of the two million. But to me, I'd already worked for Steve. And when he called me up and said, Rick, we're going to do the same thing to Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And I got involved in Bitcoin in March of last year. And I had, I made some money, but I had two or three companies that really, they just took our money. And when Steve called me up and he said, Rick, we're not going to take anybody's Bitcoin. What we're going to do is teach the whole world about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. So I started telling some people, and I told a few people, and told a few people. And really, we just got this thing rolling about three weeks ago. We had the first meeting in Houston. I went out and met, was out there with Steve. And I'm really excited about this because I really got the bug about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. See, uh, I wound up with about 39 Bitcoin when it was up to $16,000 a coin. And I sold a little bit of it, and my wife feel happy with me. She thinks I'm real smart, but I'm not. But anyway, to make a long story short, when Steve told me that we're going to offer people a chance to learn and and, have, and know what you're doing before you get involved and spend a lot of money, I think, I really do believe that cryptogenics is the missing piece to the Bitcoin market because when I got in, we didn't have a clue, did we, Lou? In fact, I'm going to tell you a story about Lou. He, he works for me. He's a good friend of mine. And Lou does everything on the computer that Rick can't do. Which is almost everything. Okay. <laughs> when we first got started, no, it's everything. <laughs> when we first got started, we didn't know how to. It keeps buffering. And we had Lou sent six point nine Bitcoin to the wrong address. Well, when I got in, it was only twelve hundred dollars. It really wasn't a lot of money. It just tore all the way down the side. So Benny sent me to, and Charlie Benny stopped speaking to me. But anyway, they sent me, <laughs> he's a buddy of They sent me to a, a hernia surgeon at Morton Plant, and he looked at it and he said, Rick, there ain't nothing I can do for that. He said, I wouldn't know where to begin to fix that. That doesn't sound good, does it? It's going to be dead. So anyway, he says, I'll call you in three or four days and find out if I can refer you to someone. And in two days, he called us and he told me about a surgeon at the Cleveland Clinic in Cleveland, Ohio. And what he did is he put people back together in the rack when they got really messed up. And uh, he says, this guy's the only guy I know in America that can do this. So my wife sends our cat scan up there and he looks at it and I have an appointment with him Wednesday the 24th, been waiting 90 days to get to see him. People come from all over the world for him to fix it. And the reason I'm going to tell you this is I was all ready to go Wednesday, but I, I'm a veteran. Uh, I served in Vietnam, and Dan, my buddy, said, Rick, you need to go down to the VA. 
And you know, when I first got out of the Air Force, I went to the VA a couple of times, but I saw a lot of people there standing in line that couldn't afford to have a regular doctor, and I could, so I never went back. But when they told me that this surgery was going to be $500,000, I was glad to pay 20% of it. I went down to the VA, and I only went down there for one reason. I wanted them to tell me they couldn't fix it. Because if they couldn't fix it, they would refer me to the Cleveland Clinic, and the VA would pay for it. And I'm going to tell you something. I don't have an extra hundred thousand. I'm not like Dan and Charlie. I don't have a. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have an extra hundred thousand dollars laid around. Okay. So we go down last Wednesday to the last doctor at the VA. Two of them told me there ain't nothing we can do. So I go down and meet with him, and I got to tell you this story because I think this is a God thing. Now, I don't care if you believe it or not, but I do, and I, since I helped pay for this meeting, I can say it, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so, I went down, so I went down there. Last Wednesday was my wife's birthday, and I went down to see him, and he came out, and he said, Mr. Ricketts, you really got a problem. And he says, there's only three people in the United States that can fix that. He says, there's a guy at the Cleveland Clinic, and there's a surgeon in Charlotte, and there's me. Cool. He said, I'm one of three people that can fix that. And we didn't believe him. Because all we wanted was a referral. Because we didn't think he could fix it. <laughs> if it hadn't been for Dan, I'd be a hundred thousand dollars broker. <laughs> because I wasn't gonna go down there. Okay. So he gets through telling me, he said, This is story. He said, I was at the at Ann Arbor, Michigan, in the teaching school for the University of Michigan. And that doctor from Charlotte trained him and Mike Rosen wow. on this procedure. So he says, Rick, you got two choices. You can do it right here and it won't cost you a penny. So, when you so I went home, me and my wife prayed about it. And the 12th of June, they're going to take care of my problem. Yeah. And he's a great surgeon, but I know yeah. somebody else is better. <laughs> so what I want you to see is you're going to see with an unbelievable idea. I won't tell you what I've been afraid about. I've been in a lot of deals, and a lot of them were that you had to buy a product every month that was usually overpriced. Y'all ever been in one of those deals? And it was the greatest product in the world. And some of it was concentrated. That's why they said it was a lot of so much more. And then when I was in that travel deal, I paid $50 a month for a website. You know what they're charging for that website a month now? $80. You know, actually, you joined this company while I love this, about this so much. You don't pay one more penny. They give you a back office and a website that's absolutely unbelievable, and there's no monthly fee. So to me, this was perfect for me because I get up every day looking for somebody who's looking for me. So and I've been doing this for a long time, and I reckon because I've worked for Steve, I knew I could trust him, and I believed it. And I'm telling you, we've got something that everybody wants to learn about, and we've got the secret which is cryptogenics, and we're going to teach the whole world about Bitcoin. I appreciate y'all listening to me. God bless you. Take over. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I do is tell stories. Yeah. 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 And I absolutely do. And I'm going to tell you, I'm gonna, there's a very important part of this story. It changed my whole life. So I thought, we could teach the whole world. And I thought, it was, a, it was a simple idea. I would just network market it, nothing to it. And so for four years, I worked on that nothing to it idea. And uh, I got in front of an investor. And I told him, if you'll spend all the money it takes and you'll send me around the world, I'll build the biggest, fastest growing, and largest network marketing company in history. And he said, okay. And I don't know why he said, okay. <laughs> Cause I'd been in Amway <laughs> twice <laughs> and I never made any money. Mm. And I went to an Excel meeting and thought it was kind of interesting, but I believed in the concept. And so I believed in the concept so much that I took us from a good corporate job to in debt free to absolutely broke, ran on all my credit cards and, and surprised I'm still married. And four years later, the guy said, okay. So we began to build a company and man, it was, it was hard. It was, it was terrible, it was pathetic. And I say that for a reason, because I flew to California to do a meeting, and the meeting room I went to, we were like three months old. And the meeting room was four times this big, four times. 
and there were four people sitting right here <laughs> in the whole room. And it was like, you know, you just deal with it. But I believed in what I was doing. So I dealt with it. And we kept going, and uh, the owner was looking for me because the company wasn't growing. So I just continued to travel America as fast as I could and stay away from that hometown of mine so I didn't have to go back to the office. And then the day came, I had to go back in the office. And I don't always tell these stories. And he, he was screaming and he was cussing. And I was sitting at the table, he was dead. I was sitting there, and all I, you remember Lucy, the walk, walk, walk? That's all I heard. I couldn't listen to him because I, for four years I built this idea. And so he finally said, Steve, what are you going to say to yourself? He was screaming. And I just stood up and I just kicked the chair out of the way and I passed up and I said, You just got to believe. Because that's all I've done for four years. And I walked out of the door and the company hit. It's the company Rick's talking about. We put two million members in in the next 19 months. And it was the idea. And it was timing. It wasn't just Steve. It was the idea. It was timing. And it was people. People who believed in the idea and the timing. And so two years later, we, you know, we were doing good. I mean, I, I went from rags to riches. I'm going to be honest with you. And it was like, how did this happen? It was like a dream. Well, the dream ended because the investor called me into his office and said, I'm not the investor, Steve. I'm the owner. We don't need you anymore. But that was interesting. And uh, seven figures later, I walked out the door because he had to buy me out. Well, and you'd think I should be happy after that seven-figure check, but I wasn't because I spent six years of my life building that idea and that dream, and it was gone. Okay, so the next phase of my life. Well, I went into the mortgage industry, and I built a successful mortgage company. In 2008, there was this thing called the, uh, the global economic collapse. Hmm. And just so you all know, I'm not a bad guy. I sold two adjustable rate mortgages in seven years hmm. because I wouldn't sell them to you. Because I would convince you that for a quarter percent more, we could have a regular mortgage. And I wouldn't get you caught up in what I saw was coming because I'm old enough to remember <laughs> that savings and loan scandal of the 80s. <laughs> so anyway, there went my life again. And so what did I do next? Well, I wasn't in network marketing, okay? So I... Uh, I poured concrete as a kid. I know construction. So what I did was I, I'm smart. I feel like I'm smart. So I went on the internet like we all should do. And I thought, where can I make money? And I Googled, where can I make money? Safety. In the pipeline of oil and gas industry. So I went and got the education I needed, and I climbed to the top of the corporate world. <coughs> I'm, I'm talking about the top. Four and five hundred million dollar projects. Last year, that's what I was. And none of this mattered. None of this, I can care less about any of this. My life was set. She was happy. We done had a company taken away. We done had a global collapse we had part of. I didn't want no more insecurities. And so uh, I saw Bitcoin. And everything changed. <laughs> <laughs> everything changed. I actually saw it in 2016. It was $600. I was reading about it. It was kind of confusing. My friend was calling me. It was kind of bad. No, but I was just, it was churning. And it was too confusing. That's the problem. It was too confusing. So what happens next is he calls me in April of last year. And he says, Steve, you got to get involved in this Bitcoin marketing company. No, no, no. But could you help me buy some Bitcoin? I want to buy some Bitcoin. Okay, so now a year later, I'm standing in front of you telling you we're going to teach you work. Okay? I couldn't buy it. And that was a problem. And so he walked me about through buying five Bitcoin. I bought five Bitcoin. That's good. I five Bitcoin. 1,200 bucks. I'm doing good. And Bitcoin started to go. And in that week, I signed up four people in this Bitcoin marketing company, and then they put me on the phone with who was a representative of the owner of the company, because no one knew who owned the company, <laughs> and they were never going to know. And I asked him five questions, and he told me five lies. There was no doubt he was lying. And so I quit. One week later, that was my Bitcoin marketing company scam that I got involved in. So I called my four friends and said, look, this is a scam. I'm going to give you all your money back. So, you know, my wife's fine. I mean, I just lost $5,000 in a week. Because I lost my money and I lost their money, so I gave them their money back. And that's how I got involved in Bitcoin. And right then, I started writing a book. And here's why. Because <clears throat> I didn't understand it. So I started writing a book called The Bitcoin Buyers Club. And it, you know, one chapter was how to buy Bitcoin. One chapter was the wild ride of Bitcoin. You better be ready. Because she was with me the whole way. And it was a wild ride. I'm buying Bitcoins. And they're going to 24. They're going to 14. They're going to this. They're going to that. It's kind of freaky. And, but, but it's like, okay. And so... Uh, I had this thing, this light bulb go off, and it said, Steve, you can teach the world. I don't know about y'all, but I got voices in my head. And that's what it said. And I said, no, I can't. Because I'm at the top of the oil and gas industry in safety, and I make a really great living. And so I don't want to hear that, that light bulb go away. 
but it kept saying, you can do this. And so I thought, you know, maybe that's what all that was for years ago. Maybe I was just getting ready for this because I'd done this before. And so I got a call in November and he was on the phone and there was a few other people on the phone. And Will said, hey, I got three people on the phone and uh, they want to, I don't know what he said because I was so mad. They want to back build something. I don't know. And, and I was like, Will, why do they know? And he said, I told them, see, because he knew I was working on this idea. But to be honest with you, I had not made the decision to build the idea because I remember how much hard work it was and how much money it took. And I just didn't see that. And I had a good life. And uh, so they, one of them chimes in and says, what do you need? I said, I need a million bucks. Got real quiet. I didn't hear the clicks. I expected click, click, click. And then Will to go, why did you say that? Nobody hung up. So we talked for 30 minutes. And uh, they said, okay. And I told my wife, they said, okay. I didn't even want them to say, okay. <laughs> and so but they didn't bring the money. Okay, don't do it. So three weeks later, I'm driving down the road in my SUV. I remember that because you have those moments. I remember where I was when I was dad. Okay? You have those moments. And the phone rings, and I answer my SUV phone, and they go, we got $450,000 when you start. And I said, yes. And I looked over at my wife, and I said, I need one year. She goes, what do you need one year for? And I said, I can prove it. And she said, okay. And I quit my corporate job, and we began building this company. Because... This is the right place and the right time. You see, when I had the idea in 1994, AOL was a dollar a minute. We couldn't afford it. And I was on it all the time because I was trying to develop a company to teach people how to use the computer on the internet. And so it was about time. Well, this is different. Technology is different. I'm different. Everything's different. This is the right place and the right time because I think everybody in this room would say, okay, I believe I'm kind of intelligent. I don't understand this. I don't know how to do this. <clears throat> well, we're just a small room full of people. There's a whole America, there's a whole world that doesn't understand this and doesn't know how to do this, but they're going to have to learn. Just like the internet, I wasn't in the right place at the right time. That's why two million people joined. It wasn't like brilliant. It was because I was in the right place at the right time. And when I realized I was in the right place at the right time, I took off with this. They brought the money. We went to work. I haven't had much sleep in four or five months now. I can't count numbers anymore. My mind don't have it in me. Because I've worked too hard to get right here. And you're going, okay, well, the room's only half full. Thank you for coming. There was four people in California 20 years ago. That didn't stop me then. Won't stop me now. This is the beginning. So the right time. Who's it the right time for? Ask yourself. In a year from now, it was going to have been the right time for somebody. Because we've just begun. So who are we and how are we doing? Well, I don't know. We're six weeks old. We're in 80 countries already. It took uh, about nine months to do that first company. It took five months to get this many people into a room in the first company. So I'm five months ahead of schedule in a sense. Okay? And that's very important. So now I'm just going to kind of tell you what's going on with Bitcoin and why I got so involved in it. It's the future of world currency. It's the absolute future. Well, that's kind of crazy. You know, we're not really using it. Well, in Japan, 40% of all retail transactions happen. In the, in the Philippines, Bitcoin.ph card, they walk into a 7-Eleven, they transact with it. In South Korea, it's exploding. In South Africa, why? Because of why it was invented. My presentation is an educational moment. Why was Bitcoin invented? To protect you and me and the world from global, local, economic collapses. That's why it was invented. That sounds stupid. No, it was invented the moment after the 2008 collapse of the global economy because of the mortgage industry crisis in America, which wiped out Florida's housing market. I remember. Okay, so that's why it was invented, and that's why it's the future. Okay, it's, okay, I kind of buy it maybe, but we're in America. We're safe. 2008 was only 10 years ago. How safe are you? I don't know. How about Zimbabwe? They collapsed the other day. Just a few months ago, the Zimbabwe dollar collapsed. When it collapsed, what happened? Well, you're broke unless you own Bitcoin. So why is the world moving to Bitcoin faster than America? Because they don't feel safe. Like you and I, for some reason, do. I don't feel real safe. I lost everything 10 years ago. Everything. I'm one of the 10 million people that lost their home. I remember loading the last box. I have a freaking sense of humor, okay? 
I remember loading the last box out of the house, cleaning the house, and then putting a bar stool in the middle of the formal dining room with a little rabbit from Australia holding a flag. <laughs> and I walked out the door and said, I surrendered. There I am. Because I had no choice. But I never give up. So I went in all the gas and I came back. And I did this, and now here I am. And so now we'll talk about Bitcoin. All right. It's the world's first decentralized currency. It was cre created in 2009 by Satoshi Nakamoto. Who is Satoshi Nakamoto? No one will ever know. Because he was smart enough to know that if it worked, they would come arrest him. Mm -hmm. And in 2012, 13, and 14, the U.S. government was trying to arrest Satoshi Nakamoto so they could stop the world's largest Ponzi scheme. Why did Bitcoin even make it? Because of blockchain technology. In the development of Bitcoin, they developed blockchain technology, which is going to change the entire world in the way data is handled. So that's why Bitcoin made it. It was running on top of a technology so revolutionary, Bitcoin just kept on coming and wouldn't go away. So it was worth less than a penny. And then it grew to 40 cents in 2010. And then in 2016, it grew to $600 to the US dollar. That's when I first started paying attention. And then right now, it's down around. I can't keep changing this slide. Bitcoin's so volatile. It went to 19,000. It's back down. They go, Steve, what are you going to do? Bitcoin's down. I bought it at 1,200. <laughs> How far down is it? Okay, and I have no doubt where it's going to go back to. So if somebody says, what are you going to do with your Bitcoin? Get as much as I can, as fast as I can, and hang on to it. What about the other coins? I'm going to get educated, and I'm going to learn which ones I should get in and out of, and I'm going to do it at Cryptogenics. And that's why we have our guys getting licensed so they can give you all education and guidance in this industry. Why? Because everybody got burned. And everybody's going to continue to get burned, and scams are going to continue to come through here, and that's what's going to happen. That's why. Well, have I been lucky? Have I done real well in Bitcoin? Until the fork. Until the fork. What's a fork? Well, we need to know about a fork because we're going to talk about two of them today. We're going to talk about one in Bitcoin, we're going to talk about one in CryptoGenics. Okay, here's what a fork is you got this coin running along, it's not doing very well. It's kind of like a highway. They got to add extra range because it won't move fast enough. And so they upgrade the software, but they call it a fork. Why do they call it a fork? I don't have a clue. Well, I kind of do have a clue. Because sometimes when a coin forks, it creates two coins. Okay? Sometimes it don't. But sometimes it does. It sounds like a child's game. It does sound like a child's game. But this is how it works. So last year, I was brilliant. My, I doubled all my money. I was so, I mean, I was God to my life just for a moment. <laughs> that moment didn't last long. Okay, so here's what happened next. Right before the fork, I had it all figured out because I had people who had not a clue. They were stupider than me about it, giving me advice, and I was listening. And so my plan was Bitcoin, I was, it was 2400 I remember it like it was yesterday. There's a gray area that I'm going to tell you about right now, but I remember it. My plan was Bitcoin was going to crash to 1200 right before the fork, and then it was going to go back up after the fork, and so I was brilliant. I had gold. I got goals, okay? I wasn't ever going to do this. This wasn't part of my life. <laughs> my goal was to get 20 Bitcoin. In my whole life, was it? And I was almost there at 17. And so when I got 20 Bitcoin, I was going to live out the rest of my life in the oil and gas industry and retire in about 10 years and be, live happily ever after. And my 20 Bitcoin was going to make, do me good because I believe 20 Bitcoin could do a person good 10 years from now. I still believe it, and I always believe. It. So anyway, I'm at 17, here comes the fork. And so uh, plan was perfect. I'm ready. I got strategies in place, and Bitcoin begins to fall, and I sell. I don't really remember when I sell because it got real gray at that point. Because it was about 22 or 2100. And I was waiting for it to do this. And it did this. And it never came back to get me. And I was out. Okay. I was sitting on my computer for a few days, panicking. Got a knock my stomach. Need to throw up. When do I buy in? When do I buy in? How much am I going to lose? How much am I going to lose? Oh, you can't buy in because all the exchanges froze you out. The trading went so high, so fast. And Bitcoin went up so fast in that three week period is you couldn't even buy your coins back. You're out. Okay. Well, finally quit and you can get back in, but I'm back in now. I gotta buy, I buy. I lose seven Bitcoin in a week. And 17 Bitcoin cash. Because if you understand the fork, which you need to understand these things, because this is the future of how things are gonna work in currencies. When it forked, it created a second coin. If you, had, if you had one of these, you get one of those. And so I had 17, so I get 17. No, I didn't have 17. I was out. And so I lost seven of these and lost 17 of those just like that. Today, the value of that would be 
about 100 grand. One day when Bitcoin was really high, it was about 200 grand. I can always tell you how much I lost. But it was still up. And I'm still as happy as I can be. It just took two or three weeks to get over that. And that was when I realized that I needed education. And so I continued on my quest. Those guys called me. They brought the money. And we went to work. And here I am. This is our second meeting in the United States. Second meeting. We have right at 2,800 members in 80 countries. And we just introduced phase two of our, country, of our company. So now I'm going to run through this presentation because we all pretty much kind of know this part. But I'm going to run through the presentation until it gets to a slide that you don't know. All right. So Bitcoin's hovering around this. And we don't, I don't know where it's going to go. I don't have a clue. But I'm going to make sure I have mine. Okay. And now you got Bill Gates, Peter Field, Richard Branson. Really smart men. Really big businessmen. He's talking bad about Bitcoin. But he's really into blockchain technology, which is why Bitcoin made it. <clears throat> which is why the whole world's going to change. And these guys right here, they're deep into it. So, you know, if they're paying attention to it, maybe we should. I guess you could say, you know, 10 years ago, someone said Uber. It's going to be the world's largest, let's call it a taxi company, not only in cars, you thought we were crazy. And Amazon's going to be the world's largest retailer, not only in storms, you thought we were crazy. And, and that coin that really doesn't even exist was going to be worth less than a penny and grow to $9,000. It'll be back there in the next few days, so I'm not going to change the slide. You thought we were crazy. But that's how it is. And here's the problem. The whole world doesn't understand it. Even at the launch of this company, it's a problem that the whole world doesn't understand Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. And so this is the solution, is cryptogenics. All right, so pretty big task here. You know, uh, we're going to teach the world. And here's their questions. What is Bitcoin? Is it real? Am I too late? How do I buy it? And can I spend it? All right. Well, Bitcoin is the world's first cryptocurrency. Okay. It's real because the government finally said it was real when they let the Chicago Mercantile Exchange get involved. Am I too late? No, I think you're out on time. Let's say the people in America own any of it. How do I buy it? We'll teach you that. And can I spend it? Yes, you can. Off a debit card, just like any other debit card you use, it's to your bank, you can spend it. So what we have to do, though, is teach the whole world. There's a world of people in the last year or two that got in Bitcoin, and they know it all. That's a very small world of those people. And those same people all got scammed and robbed, and their friends got scammed and robbed. And so the idea of this company is to educate everybody, bring everybody into the cryptocurrency space, because cryptocurrency can't happen until the world's educated, because they, people are afraid. they got to stay away from it. So we're going to teach them. We're the global company. We're the company that's going to teach you what Bitcoin, cryptocurrencies, ICOs, market trends, blockchain. And if some of this doesn't make any sense to you, it doesn't matter, because we're going to teach you. So what are we going to teach you? Everything you need to know, what do you need to know? Why bother telling me? Just watch the 45 videos and you'll know. Because we designed a system to teach the world. The world. I keep saying the world. And then we hired the top attorneys in the network marketing industry. And we hired top consultants. And we hired top direct marketing. And Mike Boggs works with all those guys. Why do we do this? Because there were so many scams that came across the world. We wanted to prove everybody. We would spend the money and we would do it right and make sure it was legal before we made any steps in this market. And then they told us we could. And we began. So we'll teach you everything. And I'm not going to go into an educational moment here, but we'll teach you how to buy your first Satoshi. What's well, a Satoshi? It's the smallest portion of Bitcoin. You don't have to buy a Bitcoin. Most people, when I was going to buy my Bitcoin, I was certain that you had to buy one or two or three or four. I didn't know. This is what people don't know. They don't know anything. And so we're going to teach people how to store it. We're going to teach you about purchase it. We're going to teach you about the blockchain technology. We're going to teach you to trade cryptocurrencies. We're going to teach you about ICOs, initial coin offerings. What are those? Well, that's the new coins, and what can happen there? Well, you can get burned, <laughs> <clears throat> or you can win. Wouldn't you like to know which one <clears throat> might work out for you? That's part of this. That's why our guys are getting licensed, so we can legally give you information that you need to have to make an informed decision that you'll make on your own because you're an adult. But once you're educated, you can make a decision. So you get 45 lessons in our package, and I'm kind of in a hurry here, because I'm trying to get to a part of the presentation no one's ever seen before. And if Rick's not in the room, when I get to it, I'm going to be really mad at him because it's going to shock him and everybody else in the room. Okay. So with 45 lessons, you learn everything you need to know. I don't have to really go into that. So with just one click, the world can enter the Bitcoin age. That's what this is all about. See, I, I'm just one of those weird people that think if you're going to do something, you should do it better than anybody ever did it before. So that's how I live. And this is what I think. I think we can take this to the world and we can educate the world. And so for that reason, we hired 60 translators across the world. 
And then we developed the presentations in 32 languages, and now they're revamping them. I was waiting to revamp them until the mining machines got here. And now they're going to revamp the presentations, so they all say the same thing in 32 different languages. And uh, then we're doing the education. So how are we coming on the education? Well, the English is up in 45 languages. The Spanish is done and starting to go up now. The Portuguese is done and starting to go up now. The Italian's done and starting to go up now. All video and all, all voiced over. The uh, Swedish is right behind it. Probably by the time I get home, it'll be done. So we'll have five languages done, and we're going to do over 30 languages. And so it's going to take another couple months. But what we're doing is focusing on where we know we can grow, and we can grow in South America. We're focusing on where we know we have leaders, and we know we have leaders in Sweden, and we know we have leaders in Italy. That's why Italy's done, Italian's done, and Swedish songs done. We're creating the education in the language of the country we begin to grow in. And I got off the phone last night with the legal advisor from India. Uh, they always call you at 3 o'clock in the morning, by the way. And so I, he's the legal advisor so we can set the company up properly in India because we did translate it into four different Indian languages. And there is a billion people over there, and they want to know about cryptocurrency too. And so this is what we're doing to make this all happen. So for 250 bucks, total $300, you're in a global business that you can build globally, and like he said, that's your cost. You never have to spend another penny. That's critical. That's your cost. So now it's just build a business. Okay, so we've got the presentations in 30 languages, so we can actually go out and do this all across the world. We prepared to teach the world. It's a job. It is a job. But we're up to it, and now we've got a few more people to help us. Get a little belief in place, and you can do anything. It's amazing what you can do when people believe they can. And I, I know it can. I'm past the part of belief. I know it. So let's talk about the money now and do a little bit of a shocker here. Yeah. All right. So direct referral bonuses. Every time you make a sale, you get a check. Huh? Customer acquisition bonuses. We pay you a little bit more if you bring a customer. Pretty simple. And then we got this thing called the cryptonary. But tonight, the cryptonary is going to fork in this room. And you'll understand what I mean in a minute. And then we got the matching bonuses. So every time you make a sale, you make a hundred bucks. So we're going to talk about as if it's all three hundred dollar sales, just for me mentally. And so every time you make a three hundred dollar sale, pay you hundred bucks. That's pretty cool. That's not bad. All right. And then what we do is, if you sell three, you're even because you don't have to spend any more money. So you made all your money back. So once you sell three, you're free. And then we'll go over customer acquisition real fast. So when you make a sale to a customer, well, you made hundred bucks. But since I came in as a customer for only $250, less than $300, we give you $25 extra, so you make $125. Bucks. Why would we accept less money and pay you more? Because the lawyers told us to. They said, you're going to pay people more to bring customers. We're going to make this legal. Okay, what do you say? And then we're going to give you a $250 bonus every time you bring 10 customers. All right, now we're to the cryptonary. And uh, I want to explain this, and I'm going to kind of watch plan. We'll kind of train something here. You only have to make two sales, and you qualify for life in the crypto area. Why is that so important? Because anybody can make two sales. I'm not asking you to make 10 or 20, just asking you to make two. Okay? All right. So it's believable. That's why it's important. You, only, you can only build two teams. Not you only have to. You can only build two teams. Why is that so important? I'm going to tell you why it's important. It's not important because of you. It's important because of who's above you. Because once they get you involved, they put you on this side or that side, now when they bring in a third, fourth, or fifth person, they've got to put them below you. So it creates teamwork, and you get the volume for the teamwork. And so this is why I love the binary. It's why it's the only program that I'll do. All right? So we're almost there. You join, and this is our explanation. So, so far, here's what you've learned about our compensation plan. Every time you make a sale, you make 100 bucks. Pretty simple. Now, here's the next simple piece. Every time three sales are made in your organization, you get paid a $25 bonus. Okay, that's nice. So you made the first sale, you made 100 bucks. And then he makes that sale, so we didn't show 100 bucks because you didn't make it. But now you got two points. And then you make that sale, and that's your third point. So you made 100 bucks because you made the sale. And so I'm going to back away and so every time three sales are made in your organization, you get a check, you get a pay. And so now we're going to talk about high growth. And so here we go. It's called spillover. The lawyers want us to say auto placement, so I'll put it on the slide. But when you put somebody in, they fall to the bottom of the first available position on the outside team. Remember I told you, let's say that, let's say that that's Rick, just for the sake of my conversation. 
you got in, and, this, and you got this person in, but then Rick put somebody in, he's got to put them below you. And so they spill down here, and everybody gets credit for that sale, so everybody gets the point. All right. The binary fork. It says limited time, but that means we have no limits. And we can do whatever we want. Here's the binary fork. But it probably gets better than this as we go over here in a second. All right. So every three sales, you earn $25. But every week that you make a sale, you make a personal sale or a mining rig sale, you qualify for more. That's where the fork comes into play. What is a fork? It's an upgrade. You benefit more from it, just like in cryptocurrency. So what happens now is, if this week I make one sale, and let's say that I have two binary points that are worth 25, 25, 50. Well, now they're worth up to 50, so that's double. That's nice. So now the compensation plan just doubled, or did it. See, I have a question. Mm -hmm. That means Charlie is not talking to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if I make a sale and Charlie makes three, instead of me getting seventy-five dollars, I'm gonna get one hundred fifty. You're gonna like. To, you're gonna like the. Need to start talking. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna like. You're gonna like the next slide a lot better, Rick. All right. So here's what happened. We had to have a few weeks of our binary compensation plan, and, and we had to get the mining rigs into place before we could show you what we're really doing. I said up to $50, okay? That sounds really nice. When did it start? It started last week. Last week, for every time you thought you were gonna make $25, you made $100, okay? 100. Now, the reason the slide before it says 50 is because we wanna under-promise and over-deliver. So when the slide says 50 and we pay you 75, I think you'll still be happy. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? So we're going to do the slides like that, and then each week we're going to tell you what it pays. Is this some kind of math juggling thing? No. It's a binary compensation plan. Until you have the model in place, you don't understand your own model. I understand binaries. You think you understand your model, but we knew that when we put the mining rigs into place, and the mining rigs create three points on every cell, it was going to totally throw the binary out of kilter in your favor. Now, we could have kept the money and not done this presentation, but what we were waiting for was to get to this moment so we could see what was going to happen. So on that one slide, it said, we're going to run it until June 30th. No, that just protects us legally. You're looking at the compensation plan. It just changed. And I was told by a lady in Australia that you can't ever change the compensation plans. But I'll bet you don't mind this change, do you? <laughs> <laughs> because people are real particular about their compensation plans. Mm -hmm. So what we'll do is, we just spent the last week, when you've been thinking we're getting ready to come here, evaluating the numbers to see where we could go safely. So let's just do a little guess here. And no one knew this when we walked in this room. And when did it start? Last week. No one even knew it existed last week. And so everybody that's watching this meeting live on Facebook, if you thought maybe you were going to make 50 bucks, you made 200. And if you thought you were going to make 200 bucks, you made 800. And so it kind of changed things. And so I don't know what Rick made, but let's just use a small number of 100. If Rick had four sales in his pay, payday, as he calls it, he was going to make 100 bucks. He made 400 bucks. Things just changed. Because the mining rigs and the balance of the binary, we were able to finally see it and see what we could do. So the way we'll present it is that you make up to 50 bucks. And I don't think you'll be very offended if we send you 100 no. or 75. But remember, there's one rule. Binary fork. You got to make a sale that week, or you make 25 bucks, just like we always promised. Okay? This is to create growth and momentum in our company across the world. But I'm going to tell you right now, I've been getting phone calls today going, why haven't you sent the commissions out yet? Because <laughs> I couldn't. And 
until we did this. Because there are people who probably thought they were going to make 400 in the binary that just made 1600 Okay? And so I couldn't get anybody receiving their checks and trying to, you know, when you send Bitcoin, like Rick said, once you send it, they own it. We couldn't have got it back. But I didn't want to send people their Bitcoin and then think, oh, God, they sent me too much money. What am I going to do now? Run. Keep it run is all I got to say. So we didn't want to send it out until we were done. So this just changed everything. Because now, last week, for every $300 sale that happened in your pay team, you made, if you made the sale, you made a $100 commission and a $100 pay step. If you didn't make the sale, you made a $100 pay step. As long as you made a sale during the week. All right, so here's the example. This example only shows $50. Because remember, I told you that's what we're going to do. We're going to show $50. So as long as I give you that or more, you're going to be happy with me. Mm -hmm. Okay? So there's 100 points on this team. And I'm just going to use Rick as my example because he's in the room and I know he's building a big team. And so Rick has this team over here that has 100 points on it. Because we got to talk about some more points. And so y'all can say, why don't y'all call them points? I can explain. All right. So Rick makes a sale. He makes a sale this week, so he gets his hundred dollars. And since he made a sale, he makes at least up to fifty dollars on every one of those pay steps. Just so happened last week it was hundred bucks. What's it going to be next week? I don't know, but it could be hundred bucks. Okay, but that fifty is a really safe place for me to stand. And so now, every, back when that sale happens, since Rick made a sale this week, he makes up to fifty bucks. And then since he made that sale himself, he already ended up picking up some. And so it kind of just got bigger. He just thought it got twice as big. But it actually got bigger than that. Because now it's ready. The company's ready. Okay, now why do we call it points? Instead of just saying, why don't we just call it sale? Because we just introduced mining rigs. And uh, when I'm done talking, Mike Boggs is going to come up for a couple minutes and tell you about the mining rigs and the legalities and some things. Just five or ten minutes, we're not going to hold you up tonight. But... But there's an important reason for this because we're doing it all legal. And see, there's stuff they call it cloud mining, they call it crowd mining. I call it illegal in America. Okay? That's all I know to call it. Because I know what our SEC attorneys are telling us. They said the only way that you can legally sell mining rigs is if you sell the rig. So I sell you the rig. We we put it out in that facility for you, and you own the rig. I get nothing from that rig. The company gets nothing from that rig. You own that rig. That's the only way it's legal. Hmm. Now, what happens, though, when I sell you that rig, I make $500. And three points go in the binary. That's why we have to use the word points, because there's other products that have other point values. And so all of a sudden, when Rick has somebody sell a rig on Rick's pay team, Rick makes up to 50 bucks for all three of those sales. I'm always going to say up to 50. But believe me, we're going to pay you everything we can pay you because it's all based on percentages and we understand those models. All right, so now the next part of this, which this seems null and void at this point after what you just heard, uh, I'm gonna sign you up and you're gonna take this to the real estate industry of Florida and you're gonna hit big, okay? And because I signed you up, I get a 10% matching bonus on all your binary commissions, okay? Why do we do this? Well, everything comes with a story, if you know me. Mm -hmm. There was a guy, <clears throat> I don't know his name, and he was in Hawaii. And he called the guy in Las Vegas 20 years ago, and his name was Eric. And he called Eric, and Eric began to build our company for us. Remember the company I told you went so slow, four people in front of the room? It was pathetic. It was scary. I really, my wife knew I really was traveling the country, so the guy wouldn't shut down the company and fire me. I mean, that's what I was doing, trying to get something to happen. And so Eric went on to help us put two million people into a program. Eric made a lot of money. We can all say that, you know. We're pretty sure he did. We won't ever tell you how much. It's been pretty, pretty helpful. The guy in Hawaii, he never made a penny. Yeah, oh, God. That's right. Why didn't he make a penny? Because he never built the left team of the binary. The whole team, the whole company was on that guy's right team. Well, I felt really bad. A year later, I was traveling Australia and Malaysia with Eric, and I was, I was on a plane with him, and I asked him one. I said, Eric, where's your sponsor? Who sponsored you? Because I was like, man, you're killing it. Where's your sponsor? And he goes, some guy in Hawaii. He called me one time. I never heard from him again. But I still felt bad because I thought the guy in Hawaii should have got a bonus for bringing Eric. So if you're Eric and I bring you, I get a bonus. 
But but what if? Because and, and so I, I'm nobody. Realize something. I did Amway twice. <laughs> I never made any money. <laughs> okay. So so a little guy like me did Amway twice. What if I sign up Eric now? So I'm looking for that guy to sign up those Eric's so he can get that 10% matching bonus, which would make him a great success. But then I've already got some Eric's in the program. So those Eric's can go sign up five and six Eric's a piece. And guys, we're six weeks old. We're nothing. I mean, we are, I could, you know, 20 years ago, I would have never stood in front of a room and said, we're nothing, look at us. <clears throat> we're nothing, look at us. We're six weeks old. And when the Eric's that are already here go sign up the three and four Eric's, they get 10% matching bonuses off all their binary commissions. This is astronomical when this company begins its growth. <clears throat> all right. Oh, well, we talked about the rigs for a minute. How are we doing? We sold 80 something rigs in, since Wednesday night. I guess, I guess, so in one week, in one week we sold 80 something rigs. I think we're doing pretty good. And some people sold five and 10 rigs. They made $500 a commission on each one of them. And they got three points in the binary. And now the points are worth more because of the cryptonary fork. Now remember something about a fork, it can change. And they will change. But up to 50 is really nice for now. And we'll work with you as we go. So you can change your life with just one click. You can change your life. 24 years ago, I changed my life. I learned how to use a computer in two hours. And I want to explain to you what that means. I went on a journey to teach the world and I got better at it. Then I opened a mortgage company that I could have never opened if I didn't know how to use a computer. And then when the mortgage industry collapsed, I took my computer skills and my construction background technology skills and I went into the safety world and I climbed to the top of the safety industry. <coughs> All because I learned how to use a computer in two hours. If I hadn't learned how to use a computer, you would not see me today, and I would have not had any of this story to tell you. So you can change your life. 24 years ago, I decided to change my life. In one moment, snap your fingers. I made a decision to change my life. I went from having a decent job, making $38,000 a year in 1994, to some of the greatest successes you can imagine, and then the most wonderful collapses to go with it. But I never quit. And I never quit believing. And so the reason I tell you you can change your life is because I can't change your life. You can. I can help. We built a plan and a program, and we've done everything we can. So I'm going to go through this slide real quick because i got to do my legal stuff because Mike's here. So uh, new <laughs> opportunity <laughs> with minimal data. So what we're talking about here is we can't tell you how you'll do this program. I can tell you people are already doing okay. But we don't do income claims and that kind of stuff. So maybe you'll make 250 bucks. Maybe you'll make 2,000 one year. So one line read, you'll make 500 right then. Okay? And then no income claims allowed. We don't want to come up here and say we're making this, we're making this, we're making this. We're just telling you that the cryptonary fork just really changed your money. I did see compensation this week that will be going out tonight that increased by over $2,000 in one week. <laughs> just because of the change that the people didn't even know we had made yet. And so when you're going, when am I going to see my commissions in the back office? Well, you're going to see your commissions tonight, but you're going to see your commissions in the back office in about two days, but you already have your money, so don't worry about it. You're going to see it tonight with your commissions in the back office in two days because we had to reprogram for this fork we came up with because when the mining rigs came into play, we understood what we had. All right, so that was all my legal stuff. And here's the mining rig presentation. That's the perfect intro for my mind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was perfect. Yeah. You couldn't really plan that even <laughs> So I'm not a mining rig person. You might think I'm a salesman a little bit, but I'm not a mining rig person. But I can present this because the people that we're taking these mining rigs to the world, they know a lot more than we do. And they know they want them. And that's the key. And after the scams of 2017, there's a lot of people that made a lot of money in Bitcoin that want to make a lot more and want to be involved. And they're moving to mining. And the cloud and crowd mining ain't going to happen here. It's going to shut them down. So we have the legitimate way that we can take this. So when I'm talking about this product, I don't care that I don't know a lot about mining rigs. 
I know there's a lot of people who want these things, and they're predicting that for the next five to seven years, mining is going to be one of the biggest industries the world's ever seen. And so here we come out of the gate as a little bitty six-week-old company, just in 80 countries, you know, not doing so much. And uh, we offer mining rigs now. And the key to it is they're independently owned by you if you purchase them or by your customer when they purchase them. What kind of rigs are being offered? Bitcoin, Bitcoin Cash, Bitcoin Gold, and Green X. What is Green X? We'll tell you tomorrow. Okay? <laughs> I'm not going into a mining rig training. <clears throat> I'm not a mining rig guy. So we're offering these mining rigs. How much, how they, what do they cost? They're expensive. But they're the going right. They're the going price for this rig of this quality. Okay? Now, when that happens, when a person buys a rig, which they sold out of them last week, if I sold you a rig, I made 500 bucks. And three points went in the binary all the way up, and so everybody's happy. It's just that simple. And so then here's the specifications. Uh, hash rate, 12 to 14, fair hash. I'm not going to read all the specifications. I'm not here to teach you all about mining rigs. Here's some of our little thoughts and rules. You can't buy more than 10 a month. 10 a month? Are you kidding me? We've already had people like him. Mm. There is a whole world out there that's really involved in this, that really wants to be involved in this, but they need a legal way to participate in it. What better way than own the mining rigs legally in the United States from a company who made sure we did it right so you could own these mining rigs legally? And so there's other things here. Oh, it's housed in Utah by third party. Ooh, that scares me. Well, they can send it to you if you want them to, because in the United States, by law, they have to if you want them to. But it is a refrigerated environment that's controlled that we can visit so you can see it because it's real and the rigs exist. So you just have to understand, I'm not going to read all this. This isn't important to me. I just wanted to show y'all that we've begun selling mining rigs and people seem to like them and it's kind of a little bit over my head. I'm in the cryptocurrency educational space. Mike Boggs and a bunch of the other guys in this company are in the mining rig space. He'll go into more detail on that tomorrow. So we're the wholesaler. Can't be any claims on results. Uh, everything earned, it says coins, but everything earned from that rig directly goes to you, the owner, to your wallet. We can't touch it. We can't manipulate. We got nothing to do with it. It's between you and where that mining rig sit in that facility. It's all yours. You got certificates. You got serial numbers. It's all yours. And the rest of that just says other things. Oh, there's a no refund policy. That's kind of scary. That's the industry. Because these mining rigs take time to deliver. And if you want to buy them, you already know that because you're in this industry of mining rigs. And so you don't have a problem with that. That's just how it works. And so the commission's $500 and three points in the binary. That's nice. And welcome to the world of mining, where you own the mining rigs. This is the second phase of cryptogenics. It's not over. Cryptonary has its first fork. It'll fork again because we have plans for what we're doing with this company. So with that, I want to tell you that I appreciate you all coming. Don't stand up and walk out just yet. Because I'm going to bring up Mike Boggs. He's going to give you a five or ten minutes feel <laughs> on what's going on with legalities of this company because that's very important to us. Because I left a really good job to come here. <laughs> and I'm not doing nothing illegal. Okay? I'm 54 years old. I got time for that. Uh, so that's why it's so important that we all understand how legal this is. Thank you very much for listening to my presentation. <laughs> Thanks everyone, I appreciate you guys coming out here. Um, my name is Mike Boggs, I'm, I'm the legal and compliance officer here at KGX Cryptogenics. If you don't know me, I've been in this industry for 20 years, uh, since I was 18 years old. I'm 38 now, uh, I've been very humbled with this industry. Um, I hold two degrees, I have a business management degree and a psychology degree. I'm also certified in 17 different programming languages and I can read another 10. I've also been studying case law and civil criminal law for the last 10 years of my wonderful life, um, married, had three kids, um, and I gotta tell you, every time Stephen calls me and says, hey Mike, you know it would be a great idea? <laughs> Usually ends up causing me headaches and making you guys more money. And I can tell you, there's actually a picture of us on the beach, me trying to absorb. He's like, you know what we're going to do tomorrow? I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> I need to call my other people and my legal teams. Um, so, but, you know, I really got to understand the extent and the resources that we have put into the legality of cryptogenics, and we're going to continue to do so every day. 
It's not even just me. I have an entire legal team that's actually here in West Palm Beach, Florida. I have another legal team that is in Tennessee. I have a general compliance officer that's below me, and we work congruently together to make sure that you guys are protected. And it's not about us. When I protect you guys, I protect the company. So when I start with you guys first, I can always protect the house. That's my number one goal. And it is not a day that goes by and like Stephen, no, we can't, we can't, we can't do that. We can't. But the whole reason we did this and the way we do it, because yes, you can actually purchase this rig and it can come straight to your house. Doesn't matter. You can send it to Salt Lake City. You can send it to another facility if you want it to. It's gonna cost you a little bit extra money, but that's the only way legally in the United States that you can sell mining equipment. It has to be done that way. We also cannot touch the software in the mining rigs. Once it's set up and it's locked and docked, it's yours. Your wallet information, we don't have the key. You send it to the wrong place or you lose it. is to keep him in a straight line. That's my job because he's the salesman, I'm legal, and it's to keep everybody walking in a straight line. I can assure you there's been lots of people when they see me calling, it's like, I'm so sorry, Mike, I don't even know what I did, but whatever I did, I'm like, why are you even saying that? I'm calling to congratulate you on your first commission check. So, but that's why we nail down legal. And that's why, for whatever reason, I've been called the hammer. Because I'm here to lay down the law to make sure that you guys are going down the street straight, keeping you guys in line, teaching you what you can and can't say, creates the culture here in the beginning so that the house and you guys are protected as one. And we will grow to be a mega, mega company together and compliantly. And I won't have to yell at him. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for taking the time out of your busy schedules. Um, Rick, the floor is yours, my friend. Thank you guys so much. Appreciate you. <laughs> Jethro was saying I want to sign with some of your I'll make sure I got this right. What I used to get paid twenty five for, I'm gonna get paid fifty. Yeah, at least. Yeah, maybe more. Yeah. Um, yeah, but always going to get 50. Up to 50. If I make this, let me tell you what, this, you know, this is a Trump week. That means if you work this week, you get double the money. If you don't work, you don't get double the money. So I'm going to get something else straight. It's a $250 sale, the same as the $300 sale. For points? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> what I really like is I personally enrolled now about 200 people. I didn't go to Largo. I'm just not trying. <laughs> that 10%, that 10%, actually, all this really became 20 good. Because before, I got, I get paid off that binary, am I correct? Yep. So when, when Dan, who's on my pay side, makes 10 sales, instead of me making 250, I make 500. So if he makes 500, isn't 10% of 500 more than 10% of 250? Yep. What's that sound? Oh, I said, what I just, so the 10% now really, that's scary. If you're a networker and you like people, that's scary. So that means even though Dan is not talking to me, <laughs> <laughs> he's not speaking to me, Charlie, 
Excuse me, Debbie. Shut up. No, it's Charlie's not talking to you. Now, why are you not talking to you? Yeah, I can't talk to her. Yeah, I'm not And Charlie's not talking to me because he go, told me to go see a different doctor. And I didn't go. So every time he comes in my office, he said, Dan, tell Rick that I'm not talking to him. So but I want to get this straight. Even though Dan is not talking to me. Right. Or Charlie. He, Charlie. Charlie. Even though Charlie is not talking to me. If, if Charlie makes 10 sales this week, I'm going to make $500 instead of 250 Right. Because you don't have to worry about me making a sale ever. No. Because I'm going to make a sale ever. Now, Dan goes on a lot of vacations. He may not make a sale ever. You mean Charlie or Dan? Both of them. <laughs> 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 they they, they, they call a lot. So, <laughs> if y'all are here today, I, I think what is really more exciting than anything else, and I've been doing this a long time, is who's not here tonight. When you look at our company and you look at this room, and they're from on the other coast. You think about all the people we got here. What do you think the reason I have? Would you bring that presentation book? I'm sure so. I have that presentation book back there, and I have a presentation in English and I have it in Spanish. Why do you think I have it in Spanish? Have y'all never been watching the news? Who is the largest minority in this country? They're everywhere. They're everywhere. They're everywhere. Okay. So, so in my book back there, if somebody wants to see this in Spanish, I've got it in Spanish. If they want to see it in Chinese, I got it in Chinese too. In fact, I put my neighbor in the business. He's from France, and his wife is from Brazil. That was a double double one. They've already talked to people in Brazil and in France about this opportunity. When I was in Excel and I was in YTV, let me tell you the difference in this deal than anything else I've ever done. I made a lot of money there, Charlie, in both of those companies, but they were a national company. What did that mean? I could only build it in the United States. So if I knew somebody here who was from the Philippines and they wanted to put their whole family in that travel deal, I could do that good. I put one Filipino doctor in the business here in town and I had 13 people. In the Philippines watching the presentation two weeks ago. Y'all know in the Philippines there's 4,700 of us. And every one of them has a Bitcoin ATM machine. Every one of them. If you're not looking for a Filipino people, don't talk to them because I'll get to them sooner or later. Because <laughs> so I'm going to get to them. So all I can say to y'all here tonight. If you, if you get double the money, don't get you excited and go to work next week. I don't know what will. So uh, I'm excited about Steve being here. There's there's postcards in the back and there's presentation books back there if you want one. The only thing I want to say to you is I, I'm older than most of the people in this room. Go ahead and say it, Steve. Nope. I bet, you, I, I bet you I'm older than anybody. No, I'm not going to disagree. <laughs> <laughs>
And he said, well, I tell you, my dad ain't working for somebody else. <laughs> he said, let me tell you what my dad does. He rides a horse until it dies. He finds another horse. I think that is smell the Kentucky Derby winner. I get up looking for something out of the neighborhoods. If you're looking for something special, this is it. If y'all want any uh, the, the materials in the back, a little bit just back there with it, I appreciate y'all. Go have a great week. God bless you, Mike. Appreciate you being here. Uh, thank all of you. Okay. So that was the big news, y'all. And <clears throat> we're going to stop recording.